So he mentions uh, Northern Colorado, and that was a, a team that you guys haven't won a set there in quite a while. Yeah. yeah. And so how did how good did it feel, A, to get the win, but B, to kind of give it to a team that's given you some trouble in the past? I don't know about giving it to them, but um, one thing I will say is uh, I finally, looking across the net at them, and even talking to my staff, uh, I finally, we looked at each other and we were like, you know, I feel like we actually have some matchup problems for them and not really the vice versa. That was nice. Um, <clears throat> you know, the one thing I will say about that match that's really concerning is uh, we've got, we're reckless and not in a good way. Um, we win that first set running away with it and then we just completely go off script and then we're down 7-2 immediately. Uh, same thing same thing on uh, Thursday night. We're starting out. We basically don't show up. I mean, we probably mentally had four or five starters still in the locker room in the first set, and we get crushed 25-16. Um, that's something that's got to get better. Uh, well, there's five teams right now that are 2-0 and in the league. We're one. The next four are our opponents back to back to back to back. So we've got to get better at that. Um, yeah, win's great. I think that if we make it a big deal, it, we shouldn't. It's just it's a W. We're on to the next one. We're on to Idaho and Eastern Washington, and Idaho is always a battle. They're the biggest team in the league. Uh, they make us look small. That's a bold statement. So um, we're going to have to really do some things to kind of prepare for that this week. You've stressed how important conference play is, and I kind of just like – knock this off but two and O's feel good to start off Conference play just undefeated yeah um you know and, and they're road wins um so that that definitely helps uh you know southern utah is not an easy place to play i think they're a vastly improved team they're a team i think that might and i even told the kids i said guys we might see them again in the conference tournament you know as as a six seven eight seat i think they can do some damage um you know cedar city is not the end of the world but you can see it from there it, it's a long way away uh, so, yeah, we're pleased with that. Always pleased to get a win um, in a hostile environment. You know, that was a good thing. Um, I know that Northern Colorado, when they come back and play us again, it'll be a different ball game. They're, they were ticked, and I haven't seen that from them in a long time. You're at home your next two. Uh, I've been on the road for your last five. How nice is it, A, to return home, but B, to have important matches inside the betting for yourself? You know, it's important. Uh, I, I think, number one, um, the team is, has done well for the for the most part this year uh we want to be able to share that you know we want to be able to share that with the community um the community is really proud of us and so we want to be able to kind of give them an opportunity uh to show them how grateful we are um, of that support that we have so anytime we get a chance to play at home we're going to take advantage of it and we just love the fact that whenever teams come here teams always enjoy playing here because of the fan base so it, it's a it, it's I hate to say win-win, but you know it really helps us. In regards to your reckless comment, just a little bit, uh -huh. uh, is that in you know identifying like is that serve receive and passing out of it? It's an attitude. Oh, just an it's attitude. an attitude. Okay. It's it's one of those things that um, we can't turn it on and off. Uh, it's unbelievably difficult to repeat, and our kids have got to learn that everybody's going to give give us their best as they should. We should be able to uh, be ready for that, be prepared for that. Um, we have the physicality, there's no doubt. We've got to make sure we maintain the mentality. And I think that's really our biggest room for growth right now, is making sure that uh, we follow the game plan, that we can be aggressive, we can be resilient. All those things are great. Reckless is not. Reckless, we can't be wreck it, Ralph, and just try to be the bigger, stronger team. Um, somebody will chop us down sooner rather than later if we're not careful. Coach, you have 17 wins, which is the most in the NCAA at this point. Uh, You've also played more than correct, in the NCAA. Yes, but, what, but what, does that, what does that mean? I mean, you don't have many losses either. So uh, you obviously are doing something right. but We does, scheduled really well. That's true. <laughs> but does this mean anything to, to you as recruiting goes along or things like that, that you can say that right now you guys have the most wins? You know, uh, I think what it means is that we're maximizing where we are. We know that teams don't want to come up here, so we've got to go on the road. 
Uh, we've got to go on the road and play some of Mountain West teams, play an SEC team, um, play an ACC team. So being able to um, kind of look at it and go, all right, these are some good matchups for us. These are some matches that are going to they're going to really test us. Um, I think that we've shown some, you know, like I said, resilience. Uh, I think the kids the kids get it. I mean, we were on the bus coming back from Greeley in a rainstorm. The bus is leaking. I look back and I go to the back of the bus and it is like the biggest engineering, looks kind of like a fifth grade science project, but they tried. And you've got like duct tape and athletic tape and garbage bags. And it's just like, coach, we're student athletes. We figured it out. And I'm going, this is not gonna go anywhere positive. But little things like that, I really think go into how we play. That we're like, hey, let's just, let's just be a problem solver. Let's fix it. Um, we know that we've got to travel a bunch, whatever. Let's just get it done. You played NDSU and then you had three tournament home games. These are your first home Big Sky match. What are you expecting as far as fan crowd wise? I, I want everybody to look in the camera. Please come. Please come. There's not a whole lot going on this weekend. We will do our best to go show you a good product, show you something you can be proud of. Um, I, I think with I think with our uh, with our level of fan support, uh, our kids get pretty. They enjoy playing at home. They really do. They they love feeling it. And you know, anytime that the opponent goes on a two to three point run, like the crowd's like, okay, here we go. And we really appreciate that. We hear the stomping. We hear the yelling. We hear them kind of keep keeping things going. So for us, it's kind of like, and I've alluded to it before. Um, being a Texan and watching Texas A&M and the 12th man mentality. We really kind of have that seventh man. And, you know, I've got coaches from all over the place that have said, we're not coming there if we don't have to. And that's a huge compliment to our community that we've got division one teams and power five teams. Like there's no way we're coming up there. So I, I love it. I think that our kids appreciate it and they try to do their best to make sure the fans know that, that we're grateful.